Hi, welcome to Dr. UTM Lab. In this episode, we're going to talk about tracking UTMs in Gravity Forms. In my screen, you are seeing the plugins installed. Uh, I have Elementor for a page builder, Gravity Form, and UTM Grabber version 3. Let's go back to the website, demo website that I created. And uh, I have a contact form here in this page. I already integrated very basic Gravity Forms. I'm just going to show the content. I have only name and email. So luckily, it's very easy to implement UTM Grabber in Gravity Form. If you go to UTMs, there's going to be a Gravity Forms uh, tab. So simply select the forms that you would like to add all the UTM parameters. Select them all, or you can select individually. So once you have done that, click Save Changes. This will add all the parameters into your form automatically. So you don't have to do it one by one, and it's a very time-saving process. There is one thing that I would like to warn you. If you select the form again, and if you add everything again, things will be duplicated. All the fields are going to be duplicated. Actually, more you do it, it will be triplicated, uh, or you'll add more. So what you need to do is, if you are adding new parameters, this is always good practice. Remove first, all the, this will clear clear all the fields that you added and then add them back again. So that's the best practice. You definitely don't want to have duplicated values. It's not going to impact the tracking, but it will definitely impact the performance of the website. Let's go back to the forms and make sure all the fields are here. And I left all the form settings as default. So we are going to receive an email once the lead form is submitted. So before I start, I would like to show you my cookies in the browser. Let's go to the application and cookies. So here what I'm going to do, I'll make sure there's no UTM parameters. Let's delete them. Let's delete all the h &L parameters as well. And let's delete organic source and the traffic source. So now since I cleared my cookies. Let's remove all of these as well. Okay, great. So when I if I submit this form, let's refresh the page again. There's going to be some HNL and uh, organic traffic will be tracked, but there's not going to be any UTM because simply we haven't added them yet. So let's submit this form. I'm going to close my developer screen. I received an email. So as you can see here, there's no UTM parameters, but you see all the other parameters that are being tracked already. Okay, now let's go back. Let's refresh this page. Again, we have the form. Let's make sure there's no UTMs again. As you can see, nothing, no UTMs tracked yet. So let's make a quick demonstration how the plugin works. In normally in paid traffic, you have ut some UTM values. Let's add Black Friday 2022 for the sake of example. So as soon as user hits your website, you see our plugin will capture it and then create a cookies for that in user's browser. So that means even there's no more query arguments because normally user, they land on your page and then they navigate to other pages and then they come back to the form page again. As you can see, even though there is no query argument in the address bar, I'm still tracked for the UTM campaign Black Friday because I've been cookied. So if I take this form again, I'm gonna show you the email I received. I'll see UTM campaign here because like I said, I've been tracked for this very same campaign through cookies even though it's not available in the query argument. Okay, let's close this. Uh, let's add more UTM parameters. I have some magical button here. As soon as I click, it will just append all the random UTMs to this URL. Let's do that. So as you can see, I have like UTM source, HNL test source, UTM medium, campaign, etc. Let's remove them from the query argument. As you can see here, all the UTMs are in the cookies. Let's submit this once more time.
Okay, I submitted my form. Let's pull the email I received. This time, you see all the UTM parameters, including source, medium, term, content, and campaign, as well as all the other FB click ID, uh, Jiglet, and all the HNL parameters as well. As well as the paid ads, UTM Grabber is also a powerful tool for tracking organic traffic. So let's demonstrate that. In order for me to do that, let me clear the cookies. Let's cl clear all the HNL parameters as well. And let's do organic. Let's clear these as well. And then lastly, the traffic source. Okay. I think I cleared everything. Let's clear this as well. Okay. I don't have anything here, as you can see. So let's demonstrate, uh, let's simulate uh, organic traffic. So in order to do that, I'm going to do site demo UTM grabber. So this is an organic traffic. Let's click and go to the category page. As you can see here, I'm landed on this page and I've been cookied immediately. Traffic source is organic. An organic source will say google.com and organic, organic source underscore str will say Google. So like I said, even though there's no UTMs, there's no UTM for this traffic, I've been still cookied for the organic traffic. So UTM Grabber can track organic traffic as well, as well as the referral and pay ads. So now if I go to contact page, let's complete this. I'm gonna put my name and email, and let's check the email I received. As you can see here, organic source is Google, and organic source, google.com as the URL and there's no UTM parameters and the traffic source says organic, which is great. So now let's talk about how UTM grabber works in privacy browsing. As you may know, Safari has blocking all the third party cookies. We can demonstrate in Safari or we can also demonstrate in iOS 14 devices. The UTM grabber performs in all the privacy enabled uh, devices with no problem. In order to demonstrate that, let's go to incognito mode. Again, let's maybe simulate an uh, organic traffic. I'm in the in incognito mode. Normally, uh, most, most people believe uh, there's no cookies incognito mode, which is incorrect. Websites can still track you uh, as normal. Let's demonstrate that. I'm just gonna take this form. Hit submit and I'll show you the email I received from Gravity Form. As you can see here, so organic source is Google, google.com. And you know, I've been tracked for my device and, and the traffic say, traffic source is organic as well. And all the other, uh, the referrer, the landing page, etc. everything is there. So even in incognito mode, UTM Grabber can track all the UTM parameters uh, and associate the lead with all of those parameters that, that have been collected for the user. Okay, maybe let's demonstrate the same thing in Safari as well. So things will not be any different. So maybe let's go uh, again to site demo one. Let's jump to this page, go to contact and fill out this form again. And by the way, I would like to show you one thing. Even we have UTM Grabber installed in this page, Safari cannot detect it uh, as a tracker uh, because technically from Safari's perspective, uh, the plugin is not a tracker because you are only tracking the data on first party uh, on your own domain. So that's why it's not raising any red flag in Safari. So let's submit this form. And again, I'm gonna show you the content of the email and it's no different. Google here, organic here, etc. 
Okay, let's close this browser. Okay, lastly, you can integrate Gravity Form in Zapier as well. Let's quickly demonstrate how, how it works. So out of the box, if you go to UTM settings, our plugin supports Zapier webhook. Let's go to Zapier. Previously, I have the Zap created. Simply, it's a webhook uh, by Zapier. So let's copy paste the URL into here and save this option. Now, if I go to my website, let's refresh this page. Maybe let's add some UTM parameters and we can actually click around and make sure it's lost in the query arguments. And now if I take this form again, as usual, I'm gonna receive email, but also this time the zap will be triggered as well. Let's refresh the zap so it picks up the latest data. Okay, this is the data I received, my email, and this is the UTM campaign. And uh, we have also uh, other parameters that previously have been collected. And uh, you have the gravity form and the form ID. So with the form ID, what you can do is you can create a conditional logic. So basically you have one webhook URL, but you can do different tasks based on the form ID. Also, since the data in, in Zapier, you can do several actions. For example, you can send the data to HubSpot, or you can sync it to ActiveCampaign, or you can sync it to Zoho and Infusionsoft. I think it's called Keep. So the integrations are limitless in Zapier. You can sync this data to your favorite CRM without any problem. That's it for today's episode. So basically what we did is we covered UTM tracking in gravity form, uh, how to pass UTMs from page to page, how to track organic traffic, paid ads and referral track tracking. And also we showed uh, the plugin uh, still works in incognito mode, including iOS 14, privacy enabled browsers such as Safari. If you have any question for me, feel free to comment down below and then I will answer. Thank you so much for watching.